Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another rock pooling video where today I end up finding loads of different species including fish, crabs and even a squat lobster. If you go on to enjoy this video please leave a like and if you're interested in learning all about UK marine life like the species in this video then make sure you subscribe to see more interesting and educational content like this on my channel in the future. But for now let me show you what I found in these amazing rock pools. The first find of the rock pooling trip was this long spined sea scorpion. This species is able to change its coloration at will, and throughout my rock pooling adventures, I've come across many different individuals with some amazingly vibrant colorations. As I've mentioned in previous videos, turning over rocks is one of the best ways to find loads of different sea creatures while rock pooling, but it's important to remember to always turn the rocks back over after you're done, as many different species rely on these habitats for shelter. Here we have an edible crab that had briefly left the safety of its sponge covered cave. Crabs tend to blow bubbles like this when out of the water as they use this to produce oxygen from the water held within their shell. Dawlish Warren Beach is covered in these structures that are known as honeycomb worm reefs. These are created by small polychaete worms known as honeycomb worms that use coarse sediment and shell material to construct huge reefs. This species is one of the best examples of an ecosystem engineer we have in the UK. Slip limpet shells are commonly found scattered around this beach, although it's quite difficult to find them alive. Here is by far the best five bearded rockling footage I've managed to get. This species is easily spooked and very quick, but this individual was really calm. This shanny was found in a nearby rock pool, and as you can see, this is yet another species with some amazing colorations and patterns. This footage shows a parasitic anemone opening up, which was amazing to watch. This species is normally found attached to hermit crab shells, but occasionally lives alone attached to rock or empty shells. It is rarely found on the rocky shore, making this find pretty special.
It was also nice to see this group of cormorants hunting together. I managed to find this awesome olive squat lobster after turning over a rock on the lower shore, which was another great find, as this is only the third squat lobster I've ever found. Olive squat lobsters spend most of their time hiding under stones and boulders on the lower shore and in shallow water. When disturbed, they will use their tail to propel themselves backwards and escape. Despite them being known as squat lobsters, this species is actually more closely related to hermit crabs than true crabs or lobsters. The rocks at this beach are dominated by serrated rack all year round. The overhanging rocks at Dawlish Warren are home to many different species, including multiple species of sea sponge. You can also find the species of sea sponge in the rock pools too. Here is possibly the best hermit crab footage I've ever shot. I was lucky that it was in a crystal clear rock pool and it didn't immediately try to escape. Most of the pools at this beach were dominated by huge groups of common prawns. Here you can see a large number of prawns and dog whelks feeding on a dead flatfish. This was really interesting to watch, but sad as I've still never found a flatfish like this alive. Like other beaches in this area, there were plenty of snake locks and enemies in the rock pools.
It was also nice to see a few common brittle stars at this beach, as they're usually quite hard to find around here. There's also a huge abundance of broad-clawed porcelain crabs that like to hide under the rocks of this beach. They also have some of the best camouflage of any intertidal species in the UK. If you looked at this rock from a distance, you'd really struggle to spot this crab. I do hope you enjoyed watching all of the amazing sea creatures I found in this video and as always do let me know which species was your favourite in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new please leave a like and remember to subscribe for more interesting and educational content which you can find on my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.